Hey guys, Greg Z here, and in today's quick tip tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use alpha maps with the Redshift Sprite node. Okay, so I've got this plane here, and I've found a leaf texture on Mega Scans. So if we look at our shader, you'll see that I've got all the typical textures that you get from Mega Scans. So albedo, specular, roughness, translucency, opacity, and a normal map. And I've got all these connected to a Redshift material. Now, in this tutorial, we're going to focus on the opacity map. And one way to use the opacity map is in our redshift material, under the overall section, there's a opacity attribute. So I've already connected this map to the opacity attribute. And if we render that, you'll see we're getting the expected result. Our leaf texture is being cut out correctly. But the problem with using the opacity attribute is that when you have a large number of instances, uh, you'll find that the result of the render is actually dependent on the uh, maximum trace depths that you've got set in your render settings. So under the optional uh, section, I've set my reflection, refraction, and combined trace depths all to one. And you'll see that the first leaf in our long chain of instances it's been rendered fine, but the rest of them are almost entirely clipped off. So what I can do to fix this is I can just increase the trace depth. So just for sake of demonstration, I'm going to set these to something high, uh, like 16. And you'll find that this render here took 3 seconds. And because we've set our trace depths to 16, we can expect a longer render time. So I'm just going to render it, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so the render's finished, and you can see that this time it took 42 seconds. And even though we've got uh, our trace depth set to 16, we're still getting this visible uh, clipping artifact towards the end of the chain of instances. So that's one of the main reasons we want to avoid using the opacity attribute. So instead, we're going to use the redshift sprite node. So I'm going to go back to the Hypershade, and I'm just going to create a Redshift Sprite node. And I want to connect our leaf material into the shader attribute. And I also want to copy the texture path of our opacity map. And I want to put that under the image name attribute. Now, our opacity map is RGB. So I'm going to leave the opacity calculation as from color intensity. If I had a opacity map that was purely alpha, I could switch that to from alpha. So the next thing we want to do is we want to grab all our leaf objects. And I'm going to assign the new sprite material. Now you'll see that it no longer appears in the viewport, which is just one of the limitations of the sprite node. So if I render again, you'll see that this time it took 13 seconds and we're not getting any noticeable artifact as we did before. So what I can do on top of that is I can now take our trace depths back to one. And if I just render again, Now it took only 4 seconds, so using the sprite node, you can see we can considerably improve the rendering performance uh, when we have a large number of these uh, leaf instances.